Hey guys, in this video we're going to upload our iClone model complete with PBR textures all in one fell swoop by zipping the FBX file up together with PBR textures. This process is recommended over manual assignment in Sketchfab since it saves a ton of time, but hey, don't let me tell you what to do. Anyway, you can see here that I've already prepared the FBX file that I want to export alongside all of the PBR textures. Before you go any further, you'll want to make sure that you're familiar with the naming conventions required for this to run smoothly. You can find all the information you need on that in this tutorial, which I'll provide a link for in the description below. The format is pretty simple. Just have a consistent material name, followed by an underscore, and then the suffix, which needs to contain the name of the specific map. For example, metalness, metallic, metal, or even M could be used as a suffix to indicate a metalness map. In addition, you'll want to make sure that the material names match up with those in iClone. Here you can see that the name of the bag material is slightly different, so what we have to do here is make sure the name is the same, and then add an underscore followed by AO to indicate it's an ambient occlusion map. You should be able to tell that the next one is a diffuse or color map, so again we'll repeat the renaming, followed by an underscore, and then diffuse to indicate which texture channel it should be assigned to. The next one appears to be a generic looking metalness map. So again, we're repeating the process to ensure the naming conventions follow the rules we mentioned before. I'll quickly do the same thing for the normal and roughness maps, and that should be about all we need, at least for this particular mesh. After you've done renaming everything according to those conventions, you'll want to whip out your trusty zip compression client. In this case, I'm using 7-zip. Ensure that your FBX file is in the same folder as the main folder, which contains all of your PBR materials. Once that's done, you basically want to follow the same uploading procedure, except this time you want to upload the complete zip file containing the FBX and material folder, as opposed to just the FBX file. Once everything is all finished uploading and publishing, then you can go into your 3D settings to ensure that everything has been assigned properly to the respective texture channels. You can see here that most of my PBR maps have been assigned correctly. If you find any missing textures, you can then just assign them manually. That's about it for this video guys. Make sure to check out our other tutorials on publishing to Sketchfab and our forums as well over at forum.reillusion.com.